Hello everybody and welcome back. So I haven't yet edited the previous video, but I think I was having some issues with some static noise. So if the last video had a lot of static noise in the video, then pull, you know, my apologies. I, I don't know exactly what happened there. Maybe, maybe I somehow like flipped a slider somewhere on my my interfaces something happened something was off balance i think i fixed it also apparently we are looking at the tits of our uh was it succubus incubus i can't quite remember yeah so i'm just gonna keep on playing i was still messing around with some sliders and stuff but i don't know if it's fixed i thought it was fixed it appears to be fixed but if you're still hearing some background noise then my sincerest apologies so what i'm looking to do right now is i'm looking for these barrels and stuff that i'm guessing they're damaged crates i'm guessing we're looking for these kind of things not the locked things but these crates and then maybe something is going to be in them because we are looking to grab yeah search the crates and barrels at the coastal murloc camps and we are looking to find Um, yeah, the Menethil statuette. Oh, wait, but I was already at this crate. I guess it's just RNG, but there's only literally only this camp. Like the other camps all didn't have these crates. So I thought I checked this one already, didn't I? I think I did. This crate is covered with clawed scratches and the marks of water damage. Prying it open reveals soggy and rotted straw as if something of value was stored in the crate. You search through the straw and find an armload of red colored bottles. There we go. 1k experience and 5 health potions. You thoroughly search this cluster of Morlock hovels and find no trace of the Manithil statue. Perhaps one of the two nearby hovels to the north and northeast will have more clues. And we get some Dwarven Mild or dwar Dwarven Mild. I don't know what the pronunciation for that would be. But, you know, I'm, I'm pretty chill here, you know. I'm... You know, these mobs are, are not particularly powerful. I'm just grinding away at them. The only annoying thing is uh, the lowest level here is 21, which is under my level range. Most of them still give me experience, but not all of them. Oh, wait, there's even a quest indicator. Did I just completely miss that last time? So it's pointing at this barrel. This barrel is largely untouched. Prying it open, you are assaulted by the pungent odor of cheese. It's a little wet, but still tasty. Uh, okay, let's grab this. This grouping of murloc hovels after a thorough inspection reveals nothing, but you're certain that the next clue you find will be fruitful. One of the hovels to the north must have the Manithil statue. Or statuette, my apologies. Continue searching the murloc hovels for the Manithil statue. It's actually a pretty cool little quest. I like it. It's, it's like chaining stuff back to back. Gives me 1k experience per part as well, which... It's like two mob kills, but, you know, I can't complain. It's nice to have. Half buried barrel. This barrel is halfway buried amidst the mud and grass. After... 2k even. Ooh. After pulling the barrel free from the muck and opening it, a silvery figurine is found packed in fine straw. It depicts a young, long-haired paladin with hammer upraised. This must be the Menethil statuette. You must now return to Carl Boren in Menethil Harbor. And we can choose to... get the Icicle Rod. Which... is worse. <sighs> That saddens me. I mean, it would probably have been very good if we had been running a Frost Mage, just because it gives you the um, increase of damage done by Frost Spells and effects by up to 10. But for us, well, I was having like some weird hiccup there. For us, it's, it's less damage on auto attacks, which we don't care about that much, but hey, it still matters. But also, we are losing 1 intellect and 11 spirit. That is just not worth it for us because we get nothing from the frost amplification. That is a bit sad. But hey, I guess we can vendor it and we can now return back to the NPC. But we have more quests to do. I should really go level up my skinning sometime because I haven't done that in ages. And my skinning 
He is sitting at 150 out of 150. I think I've been able to upgrade it for quite some time already, I think. I should also level my tailoring a bit. I, I My cooking, you know, I, I have not done any fishing. There's so much stuff that I have yet to do. But I'm just so distracted by just leveling, guys. There's too much to do. It's a problem. I am quite enjoying questing in the wetlands, though, because the mob density in this map feels pretty good. There aren't that many players around contesting me. I am not really in much danger. The mobs feel very comfortable to take out. Like, well, everything just feels comfortable. And I feel like I'm just chilling, going through it. The quests are okay. And I'm happy I moved here from Duskwood because I kind of stopped enjoying that map after I spent some time there. Same is probably going to happen here. But good thing is, you know, because of the boosted experience, we don't have to fully explore every zone like i can just do a couple qu quests here and then probably look for a party for the stockades at some point soon because i think it's like up to level 32 or something and we are closing in on the later part of the level range so i'd like to get that done at some point soon as well and then i guess i'll see which map is level 30 plus i would like to go to stranglethorn at some point because i do think it's a very cool looking map and i would like to level there for a bit but I don't know what level it is exactly. I think it's like 30 to 40 or something. But I guess I'll Google it. Now, I do quite often have random opinions that are opposing the general consensus in these kind of games. So I am ready for someone in the comments to tell me like the wetlands is commonly agreed upon as the worst leveling map or something like that. And I'm just sitting here like, oh, you know, it's a great map. I'm having a great time. And then someone's like, yeah, dude, like it's literally the worst leveling map in the in the entire game. But um, let me know if this is a good leveling map or if uh, if I'm just feeling a little bit rebellious today. There we go. Six out of six done. That was pretty easy. I like it. Ooh, dinosaurs. Hello. Highland Lash Tails. I don't have a quest for you, but I do want to kill a couple of you just because you look cool. I mean, there probably is a quest for you somewhere. I'm a little bit sad that I don't lash out with their tail because their name is Lash Tail. And it would make so much sense for them to just be like swiping me with their tail. But unfortunately, that is a missed opportunity. There's a little outpost over there as well, by the way. I don't know if there's any quests there, but I guess I will go and check it out. So I think I need to go and update my auctioneer because it's telling me that this pointy crocolisk tooth over here is worth 18 gold. Uh, probably not. But maybe. Well, I guess... You know, I also sold the pointy crocolisk tooth. I'm going to assume because it's literally labeled as trash. That it's not actually worth that amount of money. So uh, yeah, I Hearthstone back to town. Because I do want to quickly hand in the two quests that I picked up. And that we have now completed. Should bring us pretty close to the next level. Probably not quite there, but hey. That's fine. Let's talk to Carl Boren. King's honor, friend. Do you have the statuette? The captain of the blind princess will be relieved to hear this precious cargo has been recovered. You have well earned this payment for services rendered. It is good to see dependable folk like you, especially in trying times such as these. Well, I'm nothing if not dependable. You know, I love the look, the icon for the icicle rod, and I would like to equip it just to see what it looks like. Go with honor, friend. Okay, only 3k, that's a little bit... Eh, but hey, whatever. I guess the quest was, you know, we already got 1k, then 1k, then 2k, then 3k. So we got a total of 7k experience. So it's not too bad. Uh, let's see what it looks like. Just to, well, check it out. Oh, I love it. It's much cooler than my current staff. Quite literally, because it's frost themed. But it's not good for me. I can't use it. It's crap. But it, there isn't a level requirement for it, is there? I don't see anything. Oh, it's soul bound. Okay. I was like, if this thing is account bound, I'm going to create a frost mage and just swap over the icicle rod. 
and go to town. But yeah, I guess with it being soul bound, that is not an option. Okay, James Holleran, I am back. Light be with you. My apprentice is like a son to me. It's going to be hard for him to live his life with only one leg. Ah, EK, how goes it? Do you have my skins? Hmm. Don't suppose you'd be interested in becoming my apprentice, would you? Huh? No, I'm just kidding. You're much too old for one thing. Besides, from the looks of you, it would seem that you have other ambitions in life. Nonetheless, these are some fine skins you've procured, and I'll be able to put them to good use. Why, thank you. I put a lot of effort into securing these exact skins. Uh, we get a resilient poncho. I'm curious to see what that looks like. Will we... Oh, um... Yeah, that is plus four armor, plus two stamina. So be careful. We take that four point two k experience. There we go. Let us see what we look like with this thing. See, I like it. I like the look. It looks nice. It looks great. But why does it look like a poncho? Why is it supposed, based on the icon, to go over my head and keep my ears warm? Why? Is it just a cape? Explain this to me. I mean, same goes for this one, but at least it's called a burnished cloak. Okay, I like this one, don't get me wrong. But I am a little bit disappointed. Do we just not have headgear in this game? I guess we do, but we just don't have it. Do we get headgear as a light armor class, or is headgear reserved for the tanky boys only? Don't know. So just to keep variety up, and because I only have about 20 to 30 minutes before I have to head out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a walk all the way up here to the Arathi Highlands. We're going to make our way into the Highlands. I don't know what level this map is, but I'm going to go check it out and see if I can make my way to the flight path and potentially the inn to log off there. And, you know, we can we can just kind of get a glimpse of all the maps because what I want to do is I, I I mentioned this before but I don't want to just spend hours on a single map and really go deep into it I would like to like you know dip my toes into all the maps a little bit to get a, a very nice rough global understanding of what all the maps look like and what the level ranges are and what the maps feel like and you know just in general explore a lot so yeah i'm gonna leave the wetlands behind for now even though i'm enjoying this map i will leave it behind for now there's a chance we'll return for maybe the elite quest or something i don't know yet i saw that there is a great ring the tranquil ring which gives me intellect and spirit sounds pretty good uh, but i'd have to find a party for it i tried finding a party for it using the map chat wasn't successful so far but maybe we'll have some more luck later so for now over to the arathi highlands yeah, I have to admit, I said it before, I know I'm repeating myself, but I'm liking this map aesthetically so far. It's got a nice, like, oh boy, level 36. Oh no. Oh no, this map is not meant for me. This map is way out, out of control. It is as one of the biggest... It was two streamers says constantly, repeatedly, over and over again, unhinged. This map has no hinges. This map is potentially going to be my doom. Oh boy, there's a plains creeper level 33 over there. All right, the plan is simple. Stick to the path. Explore for the sake of exploration. Make my way over to the flight path because I'm an adventurer. And adventurous do adventuring. And I'm committed to that. This is where I cut to where I'm dying. So I'm hearing some bird sounds from outside right now. And they fit in very well with my experience walking through these plains. So this is going to bring us to Refuge Point. Or Refuge Pointy. Because there's an E at the end. Is that a silent E? Is it just refuge point? Or am I about to walk into a pointy? It's a cool looking little town though, like in the middle of these fields and... It's a little bit smaller than I expected. And there's the flight path. We did it. We are a pro. 
We even have quests here that we can do. Really? New flight path really discovered. Look at this, guys. Look at our flight path. You know, we've got Sandro Hill in Westfall, Duskwood, Red Ridge, Elwyn, Logmodan, Dunmorog, the Wetlands, now Arathi. You know, we made our way to the other side of the continent. I'm liking it. There's like this big part here where we have nothing. Safe what travel. is there? I guess, I mean, I guess that's because the Badlands, the Burning Steps, the Searing Gorge. Something tells me those are high level maps and I should not be there. I think we, we checked out the Burning Steps, right? Because I think we, yeah, we went up here. Yeah, uh, through here up into the Burning Steps a little bit. And then we realized that that map was also without hinges. Uh, what are these quests though? Oh. The war against the Horde has reached full tilt, adventurer. This is a time of great need for the Alliance, and it's quite necessary that all of us do our part to help. I have played thir thir 13? I've played many years of League, and I am familiar with the concept of the tilt. So claiming Arathi Basin and fight for Warsong Gulch. Winning a war is about more than just outsmarting and outfighting your opponent. Victory often comes down to simply producing more than your enemy. What we have in Arathi Basin is a sizable supply of resources for whichever side manages to claim it first. If the Alliance comes out victorious, it'll mean more swords and pikes for our troops. If the Horde were to win, those swords and pikes would still get made, they'd just be pointed at us. Now is the time to help the Alliance in Arathi Basin Adventurer. Bring three Arathi Basin Marks of Honor to an Alliance Brigadier General outside the battlegrounds. Is this a PvP well, quest? Yeah. It is a PvP quest. Okay, well, I'm gonna abandon the quest for now. Because uh, this place looks like it's not meant for me right now. I mean, I have the flight path, so that's nice. I can always move back here if I need to be here, but I don't think I need to be here right now. All right, so I think I have a plan. Oh, what is that? Is that a dungeon entrance? Or is this a PvP thing? I guess we walk in. Battlefield instance. The Arathi Basin is one of the main staging points of war between the humans and the Forsaken in Azeroth. The League of Arathor seeks to reclaim lost lands for their benefactors in Stormwind, while the Defiler's elite troops under the watchful eye of Varam... Varimatras seek to sever the vital connection between the humans and their dwarven allies to the south. Joint battle? You have Q. You have joined the Q. Battleground Q. You are now in the Q to enter a battleground. You may check your status by mousing over the icon on your minimap. Icon on my minimap? Which icon on my minimap? Oh, you are in Q for Rathi Basin. Average wait time unavailable. Last 10 players. Time in Q. I guess I'll leave Q. Um, I, I don't think I'm going to be adding a lot joining these people, but I would be interested in experiencing some PvP in this game just to kind of see what, it, what it's like. And I would like to come in somewhat prepared, kind of knowing what I'm doing. So maybe I'll check it out later. We have the flight path for it. So uh, the plan that I think I'm going to stick to is um, I, I have to head out very soon, so I won't be, be doing that today. But next time I'm recording, what I'm thinking about doing is looking to make sure i have all the quests for the stockade we have four quests i don't know how many quests there are i'll do a quick google search just like i did last time we'll do like a quick compilation of me getting all the quests if there's more quests than these four they're they're um, green and yellow so that means that they're perfect for my level i will try and find a party for the stockade we'll go to the stockade we'll probably hit level 29 maybe level 30 if everything goes according to plan and then when i'm level 30 i think at that point, I can go to Stranglethorn Vale and level there a little bit. And I'm curious to see that map. It's one of the maps I've been looking forward to ever since I stepped foot in there first on my 
I think the episode was called like a lone adventure, like level or episode 15 or whatever, like ages ago at this point. So uh, yeah, that is the idea. I'll see you guys later.